The earth is spherical in shape. Shouldn't this mean that some people should walk, run, and drive upside down? This question is addressed in the video. In the previous video, we talked about the sun and how the entire planetary system is held together by its gravity. This inevitably means the bigger an object, the stronger its pull. Gravity is the reason things with mass or energy are attracted to each other. We are drawn to the earth by its gravity and because down is the center of the earth, people all over the world have their down as being the center of the earth. We are drawn to the earth and have a sense of being stuck on its surface because the mass of earth is so much greater than the mass of everything on it. So everyone is pulled in the same direction. Gravity helps us maintain our balance as we travel around the earth. So if it were to become too strong, we will be unable to move as we easily do now. Given that the moon is smaller than the earth and has a considerably weaker gravitational field, it makes it possible to float between steps and take enormous leaps there. It is significantly more difficult to jump on larger and heavier planets than it is on the earth and on the moon. Let us take a quick test. Think of two objects that are significantly different in size, a 20 kg stone and a 5 kg stone. If both items are lifted to the same height and let to drop to the floor, which stone is going to fall first? I give you 5 seconds. Did I hear you say 20? Well, the correct answer is both items will fall at the same time. However, the heavier object will hit the ground with greater force. Another interesting take, people believe you add just a little height as you sleep because as you walk, gravity contracts your spine slightly. Short people may have done a lot of walking when they were smaller. Just joking. A research on the Kelly brothers served as an example to demonstrate this. One of a pair of twins remained on Earth while the other traveled to the International Space Station on a mission. Upon returning back to the Earth, a team of researchers were brought to examine what happens to the human body after spending a year in space. The brother in space was two inches taller than his sibling, which was one obvious difference in their bone structure. This was related to the fact that gravity wasn't pulling him constantly, which caused his spinal discs to enlarge. Have you heard that what goes up must surely come down? Well, the main challenge is to get the object moving quickly enough for it to escape the gravitational pull of the Earth. In actuality, an object wouldn't come down if it were moving quickly enough. Did you learn something new in this video? Share what you learned in the comment section. Please hit the like button and subscribe. See you next time.